White Oak Canyon is one of the most popular boundary access points for Shenandoah National Park. Any given weekend, this parking lot is overflowing with visitors. So finding a time where we could execute this work, where we didn't negatively impact the environment and the public was very difficult. The goals of it were twofold. One was to improve uh, aquatic organism passage, particularly for brook trout, so they could access three miles of habitat upstream and Cedar Run. Uh, the other goal was to improve access for uh, hikers and trail users here to the Shenandoah National Park. What we've come to appreciate over time is that low water bridges are really detrimental to fish habitat. The pipes were put in, concrete was poured over top, and cars drove over top of it. And that was done in the 70s. And so over time, the concrete's kind of deteriorated, some floods have taken chunks out, and became just a hazard. Along with that, end up being a, a barrier to fish movement. And so all around the park, we are the headwaters for so many stream systems. And while the headwaters are in the park and the water quality in the park may be very good, we are finding that fish cannot proceed up the stream to get back into the park. So projects like this reopen those waterways for the fish. We work with the landowners, um, Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, the Park Service, Department of Game and Land Fisheries, and Piedmont Environmental Council uh, to put together a plan um, to put together the funding to remove that existing culvert and install the bridge. It was only possible because we had partners like Piedmont Environmental Council and Trout Unlimited that were willing to come forward and not only fiscally support the project, but also bring their expertise and their energy to it. Visitors coming to Shenandoah National Park now have safe passage to their trailhead and they will reap the benefits of having the approved habitat within the park.